Nerdy Sports Fan here. We're checking out the Lions versus the Bears. This is probably going to be a laugher. The Bears defense is the absolute best in the league, bar none. Um, Detroit got rid of one of their better offensive players uh, at the trade deadline in Golden Tate. And he was really the safety valve of this offense. So Matt Stafford, without that, and with an inconsistent running game, mostly because of offensive play calling, um, I would expect him to be running scared pretty early. The offensive line for Detroit can't keep up with the pressure that the Bears are going to be able to apply, and uh, he, even if Max sits out again, it, they really have a lot of depth and a lot of talent on that side of the ball, and Detroit's offensive line really can't keep up with them. Um, again, Golden Tate's gone, so Who's receiving on this team that you're really scared of from the Bears' perspective? Galladay's very, very talented, and he's likely going to be the number one target of this offense going forward, uh, but he's young. He doesn't really uh, run routes extremely well, so he can't manipulate the defensive secondary the way a veteran receiver like Tate would have been able to. So they're going to be behind early, and... Uh, Matthew Stafford's going to be running scared. If you own him in fantasy, he's usually somewhat good as a play because they just throw the ball all the time. Uh, but in this one, it's probably going to be running away from defenders and some interceptions and a lot of sacks. So I would avoid Matthew Stafford as a play. Kerryon Johnson's going to be the focal point of this offense moving, excuse me, moving forward. So in games like this, He's more of a running back two to a flex play um, because there really isn't much of a chance of, for them to do well here against this Bears defense, but he's still going to be a valuable play in the stretch. Now, on the Bears side of things, you really shouldn't own Bears receivers that much. Uh, there's a lot of better plays out there than the Bears receiving core. Uh, the people that own in this offense are the running backs, Howard and... Uh, uh, Tevin Coleman uh, share the load really well with Tevin Coleman being more of a receiving threat. And as the season progresses, you see that coming into shape more. Uh, Trubisky is leaning on that running game and the short passing game provided by the two very good running backs and a pretty solid offensive line uh, when they're healthy. So, yeah, I would expect more of the same. Detroit's defense is nowhere near what Chicago's is, and they line up against that defense in practice every week. So the offense is going to know how to manipulate a poorer defense like Detroit's. And Tevin Coleman and Howard are the focal points for that. You never really know what you're getting, especially when they line up both backs in the backfield. So it's going to be a relatively easy one for Chicago to get on top early, lean on that defense, and just blow Detroit out. Um, I think they're getting four and a half points, and I would expect them to win by more. So put your money on them, and you're probably going to be happy about it. Enjoy this one, but again, it's really only going to be good for Chicago fans.